If you could describe the season finale of Game of Thrones in one word, how would you describe it? Disappointing. Hey John, how's it going? Oh no, don't you hey John me. What the hell is wrong with you, Danny? Why, what happened? What happened? Danny, you murdered the entire city. That is not cool. Ah, uh, yeah, that was a bit of an oopsie, my bad. But I don't get why everybody is making such a big deal out of it. It's not even like this is the first city I've murdered. What about that speech you gave earlier? That was starting to feel real dictatory. My people, today we have totally delivered the citizens of King's Landing freedom. From life. Okay, you do not get to criticize me. I have brought peace, justice, and security to my new empire. Your new empire? Danny, you were the chosen one. You were supposed to be most excellent, not totally bogus. John, you've only just begun to discover your power. Join me, and with our combined strength, we can, like, totally end this destructive conflict and bring freedom to everyone. No, I don't know. Just think about it. An entire world free to worship the two of us. Together. <sighs> okay, Danny. Let's make out. <laughs> I stabbed you. <sighs> well, that sure was a shit show. Looks like we're going to need to find a new monarch again. We could always invent democracy. Now nah, we need a monarch. How about Bran? Everyone loves him, right? What? No. It... Yes, I concur. Bran is the best and most interesting character ever. He should be king. Wait a sec, that's- All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Then it's settled. Bran will be the new king of Westeros. However, the North will remain an independent nation. And we shall call that nation Canada. What say you, King Bran? Now hold on just a minute. If that's the case, the Iron Islands will also remain an independent nation. No, only the North can be independent. So you'll grant sovereignty to your sister but refuse us? You can't do that. I demand that- I can do whatever I want because I'm the king now. No takebacks. Shame what happened to the Iron Throne, though. I would have liked to add wheels to it. Metal chair. Symbol of oppression under medieval patriarchy. Okay, so you guys got this, right? Actually, we could use some help with Good, the, uh... keep up the good work. I'm gonna be in my room building Legos. See ya, nerds. All according to plan. Granny, now that you've inherited my powers, it's time I let you in on the plan. You see, we brought you up north for a reason. We're going back in time to pull off the biggest heist in Westerosi history, Granny. What's the take? The whole kingdom! It's never been done before! It's gonna need planning and a large crew! We'll need at least a dozen guys doing a combination of cons. Who'd you have in mind? Well, we need a kid from an ancient northern family! That's you! A couple of mooks to get you up here! Your undead zombie uncle! Four or five magical wolves! Three dragon eggs! A patsy! Another patsy! And a doorstop to keep the fuzz off our tail! I know a guy. Anything else? Yes! Your mind control is only so powerful, Branny! So we're still going to need someone stupid and gullible, yet somehow respected enough to actually nominate you in the first place! Don't worry, Doc. I think I've got that covered. Extended warranty? How can I lose? And thus it was that the greatest timeline, that one in 14 million shot where I, Brandon Stark, ended up as the King of Westeros, began. But, as awesome as things were for me, it wasn't a happy ending for everyone. How do you pick up the threads of an old life? How do you go on when they screwed up the ending so badly? In your heart, you begin to understand. There is no going back. There are some hurts that go too deep. It's been four years to the day since I was stabbed, Sam. It's never really healed. John, for the last time, it's Tyrion. Sam is back at the Red Keep. Oh, 
Right. Look, bro, everyone's really concerned about you. You haven't left this tower since you saw the final episode. Was it right? What they did to the story? It was based on George's notes. It doesn't feel right. John Bro's story was now over. His many subverted expectations had become a weight that was simply too heavy to bear. There would be no more journeys for him, save one. Come on, John, we're going to the harbor. The wildlings have accorded you a special honor. I still don't see why you feel the need to do this, John. The Unsullied left weeks ago. They have no way of knowing whether you're in exile or not. And even if they did, f them. The North is independent now. You can just chill with us up in Winterfell. Oh, sweet sis. We set out to save the realms of men, and they have been saved. But not for me. I've become too invested in the book series to see it end this way. Huh? And so, John Bro departed from Middle-earth. His was truly the song of ice and fire. The world shall never see his like again. Two thousand years later. Alright dudes, we gotta get out there and stop the proto-molecule- Oh shit, who's that guy? Looks like some sort of walking white thing.